So Malibu, um, this is my challenge and this is why I do work in this area. One of the main things I've seen for black women in STEM, black women in engineering, black women in robotics, is that the numbers have remained relatively flat over the last 20 or so years. This is why I do work in diversifying STEM, getting more black and brown students and women into STEM. There hasn't been much of a change. Like uh, one statistic that's been pretty consistent is there's only about 200 black women engineering tenured faculty in the United States. Those numbers are not changing. The graduation rates for black and brown students, in particular black and brown women in engineering is not changing. Um, it doesn't really fluctuate all that much. Now, women in engineering has ticked up a little. Maybe it's around 20 to 25% now. But as far as black people, black men, black women, not so much, unfortunately. And I like to say it's because of a toxic environment, a lot of bias, a very difficult obstacle course starting from K through 12 for women and black and brown kids. There's a lot of stereotypes about who is um, made to be in STEM, what being in STEM looks like. So I have to normalize seeing black and brown people in STEM, breaking the mold for who can do it, how they can do it, how they can achieve. Um, we fight against a lot of things that create imposter syndrome in students. So honestly, not much has changed, but I think the culture is a big one. The obstacle course, um, looking at things all the way from, like I said, students all the way up to academia, professors, um, being a trailblazer, being a pioneer, that not changing, people doubting your abilities, questioning why you are, why you are there, um, et cetera, presumed incompetent. So hate to be a bearer of not so great news, but let's keep working to make it better. Stay stemtastic.